Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 10 of Old World, where I am attempting, rather unsuccessfully, to get a domination victory. I'm a little bit concerned that I haven't taken a single city yet, and I'm already on year 73. Maybe I should have been a little bit more aggressive, or maybe things will speed up as time goes on, particularly once I get some siege equipment. Uh, not in a great position at the moment, because I don't have a huge army. It takes me ages to take a city out. I uh, also don't have a lot of orders. I think I didn't prioritize building strongholds and uh, barracks early on, which I really should have done. Uh, I'm going to try and do that now. Obviously, it's a little bit more tricky while at war. I don't know where these um, guys are going here. We can certainly try and deal with that. Uh, we need a new ambassador because our ambassador has died in office. We can just pick someone with foreign opinion there. It's not a huge deal. Uh, I would like to do something with my workers. Um, in terms of resources, things ain't terrible, to be honest. Now, that's suggesting a farm on there. I mean, our food is... Well, our food's not brilliant. Yeah, let's go and build that. Before we do any more workers, so let's get back on to uh, sorting out this city. Now, I really don't want this guy going over here and causing too many problems so i might go over there and um harass him with the scout that was a, a missed move i was too many dials away uh so yeah you move over there and take a shot and i think you can move in here and take a shot i'd like to be able to just sort of finish him off if i can yeah there we go and then everybody else can just attack the uh the city its health is going down. It's going down very slowly. And again, I don't know if they have any more units around. They may do. I do have some other units coming in. Or at least I thought I did. And I'm also a little bit concerned about what Babylon might be up to. So I do have to keep my eye on them. They do have a, a city near me. Now, I'm quite prepared for the possibility that this entire... Um, playthrough might just go absolutely down the drain but that's okay because this is this is a test i am playing it on a higher difficulty than the previous game so i really don't know too much what to expect so i guess i shall find out um mines i think mines are going to continue to be useful right now okay sorry for the edit there poorly timed postman um so yeah i was saying i think we still need mines Iron is very important, especially if I'm building Axemen, which are one of my better units at the moment, so let's carry on with that. Yeah, let's go for another mine there. I'm trying not to move the workers too far, because I have very limited orders to do anything. And yeah, let's get a lumber mill, uh, particularly because we'll want to start upgrading some of our um, slingers to archers, which we can't do yet. I could probably start adding some generals in here. Not on the ones that have already attacked, unfortunately. Um, do I have any more units coming in? I mean, I, I've got one or two weaker units around, but I don't really want to bring them in just yet. Uh, you have completed a camel archer. Let's work on another axe man. So we do now have this spare camel archer that I could start to move towards the front it is going to be slow don't have a lot of training coming in either so i can't really buy more orders so that's unfortunate and then we've completed a war elephant over here as well which again i can't move because i don't have the orders for it uh why can't we get another elephant because we lack the iron that's fine let's get a camel archer there then so i'm just trying to bring in some units basically but yeah, having a large army and also having most of my unit production far over to the west takes a long time to get down here. I can't really produce the war elephants in these um, cities further to the east because the culture isn't high enough in them yet. So we can sp spend some money for Judaism. No, we're not going to bother doing that. This is one of our family leaders, one of our governors. Um, we can get minus one discontent in Carthago, or we can get minus two discontent if we want to pay for it. 
Or we can get some. We'll get. We'll take the minus one discontent. I think that's fine. Do we want to buy silk? Oh, we can get it half price. Yeah, so that's useful. So we can sell. We can sell. Uh, trade that to one of our cities to reduce the discontent. Where's the worst discontent we've got at the moment? Minus five in Carthago. Um. Right, how do we... Because you can trade with... I've got to click on the family. Nope, how do we... Oh, it's here, isn't it? I think. I know you can trade... A luxury. Manage luxuries, there we go. We send silk to Carthago, and that should help reduce the uh, discontent. But yeah, it's pretty bad there, so we need to get some better buildings in. So let's get that out of the way. We do have some workers. Again, I don't want them sitting doing nothing. I'd rather them be doing something. Let's get a barracks there. So I really should prioritize these workers a little bit. Let's get a mine over there. Okay, now we need to deal with our military units. So we'll move a little bit closer so we can attack with our ranged units first. I mean, I don't. I, I appreciate I don't have any seed units here, but I've just hit the, that with everything that I've got, and it's barely tickled it. I do have 13... orders left so I can start moving some other units closer so let's make sure that we do that I don't know what I was doing with you I think you're just blocking the way I mean I could start bringing some of these guys down I don't know if there's a really good reason to do that I think I'll just keep you there but yeah, the war elephant we certainly want to start bringing down in this direction. Yeah, you guys you guys just stay there. That's fine. And yeah, you're staying there. Okay, so there's not too much that I can do here. Uh, I do have another scout that I was intending to use for a little bit of, you know, terrain reveal. So I'll keep doing that if I can. But yeah, I just don't think I'm going to have enough time to take all of the AIs out. I haven't even taken a single city yet, and I'm like a third of the way through the game. I would imagine once you've got, you know, as the game goes on, and you have siege weaponry, and more orders, you can probably do things a lot quicker. Uh, now, I think I really need to get composite bows. I could get that free chariot, but I think right now... Um, Upgrading my units is probably going to be better. So that's what I'm going to be heading for here. It looks like I've got another camel archer. Not liking these um, settlers that are around. Again, though, there's not too much that they can do with the settlers because they've... they've oh, that was the worker. That was the wrong, wrong thing. It's not like they can do too much with these uh, settlers because they've got to put them on a very specific tile. So... We'll just start moving forwards with the with the camel archers. I don't know where they could be taking them, actually, but we will see. Let's start moving my elephant forward as well. Uh, I do have one worker who is currently doing nothing. It's suggesting a theatre here. Now, we probably do have better things to build, but we are lacking theatres, so let's go with that. A couple of events as well. Uh, that's nothing that we can do, and this is our nephew third in line. Let's just go for philosophy on that one. Not overly concerned. So once again, you know, the city has managed to heal a little bit. And what makes things worse is that our units do take a little bit of damage every time we attack the city. So a couple more turns and we might actually get it, though. Uh, not that scout. This scout. Let's go up here on the hill. Just trying to get a better view if they've got any other units around. That's that's all, really. So you've completed the Camel Archer. 
that is fine we could work on another camel archer we've got the food we've got the wood for the time being so yeah let's go for that and we've got another one here that has completed a miner and we could grab another war elephant so let's go for that war elephants are our best unit and you know we are playing as carthage so that makes sense uh, i was moving this way with you i think albeit very slowly and this camel archer can also move how close can you get actually not close enough to attack on this turn what's your range you've got a range of two so if i move you there you can at least hit it on the next turn okay not too sure how much damage those camel archers do. Now, once we can grab this city, it'll be our own territory. We can heal all these units up. But, of course, that's going to take time and orders, which will slow down our conquest of their other cities. At this stage, I'll be just happy to wipe one civilization out. Ah, here we go. Now he's coming in with more units. He's got, our, he's got chariots. And he has multiple chariots. That looks like I've lost a slinger very unfortunate and of course he has route so now he gets to attack again so that wasn't too good uh persia gaining an opinion of us and gaining legitimacy i think i'd rather trade from persia oh no we'll get this the science and there's another wonder built and you can go for tactics okay Let's go back over here and deal with this absolute mess that's going on here now. Because I think we might be in trouble. I think I might have to use my um, elephant to deal with some of these. We'll try and do some ranged damage first where we can. That won't be a kill. That won't be a kill either. Now, we're going to take a lot of damage on that unit there, but at least I can move in with the elephant and finish that off. Now, that should give us rout. Does the elephant not get rout? Well, that's disappointing. In which case, we do need to move in here and start trying to do some damage. You're anti-cavalry, I think. Yeah, so you do quite a decent bit of damage to it. Can we finish it off on this turn? do have another camel archer over here not a lot of damage uh, and where was that war elephant i think he's still miles away yeah he's not getting here anytime soon uh, i do have one unit here that hasn't attacked yet can't even finish him off on this turn that's disappointing and then the city of course then gets to a complete turn for recovery which is unfortunate. You've completed the Camel Archer. Let's get another War Elephant. And let's start moving the Camel Archer this way. Of course, now I've got three workers that are doing nothing. And you can work on another Axeman. So yeah, I definitely need to get more orders. I thought that was going to be the... big factor in... losing wars... I mean, I'm just lo I'm just losing to attrition here. You know, the 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 enemy have turn up with one or two units. Now he has healed on that turn. Now that's actually good for me because he didn't get to take me out. Yeah, he can become frugal. That's fine. So before we do anything else, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, he's gone. Good. So we're going to go back onto the attack again. Um, that wasn't the unit I wanted to move into there. Let me just undo that. I clicked on the wrong unit again. It was the war elephant I was trying to select. I wanted him to move there. Axeman can move down here. You can shoot from range. War elephant can attack. Axeman can attack. You need to go back to friendly territory or you're just going to die. You can come in and attack. Ranged unit can attack. Yeah, I mean, that city's recovered most of its health now. Got another war elephant, but he can't get close enough to do anything. Right, we've got a lot of workers doing nothing right now. So, let's get another mine. Uh, 
that would be a good quarry. So let's grab that. Not building the necropolis there. Now that suggests... Uh, no, we don't want an, another wonder. Probably just getting another quarry here for now. You want the necropolis as well. Now, yeah, a barracks would be good. So would a theatre, to be honest. Can't get there, though, because I don't have the orders, and that's that's the problem. Okay, we'll hit end turn again. I'm not entirely convinced that I'm going to be able to uh, achieve a win here. I just, I think I messed up too early on. I'm certainly giving the AI a good beating, but it's going to be too slow. Uh, let's improve relations with Babylonia, because they are likely to be the ones next ones to attack. They dislike me, and they are my closest neighbours. So you're coming back here to heal up, because you're in a terrible state. We have another war elephant, who still cannot reach on this turn. We will do all of our ranged attacks first. Followed by all of our melee attacks. Yeah, and it still isn't enough to get its health down anywhere useful. Uh, do we have any other units that were... You were heading down that way, but again, it's going to take you a long time to get there. Let's, so let's concentrate on our workers. A hamlet, a quarry, an Odeon... We do need the Odeon. And I know I'm building these things when I, I need stuff that will give me the ability to get more orders and things. And I need to I do need to do that. Let's move over here and we'll get a... I mean, a barracks would be good. Let's get the barracks for now. And we've got another builder over here. Is there anything useful for you to get close by? These are not great tiles. We do have ore over there, so we could go ahead and get... Oh, it's not my territory, is it, yet? Uh, okay, we won't get that yet. It'd be nice if we do stretch out that far. We could concentrate on trying to move out towards that tile. Uh, let's go ahead and just get the pasture... I want to try and take this scout up here. See a little bit of what they're trying to produce. See what they've got coming in. And yeah, Camel Archer, who is going to get this far. Okay, so I do have some more units heading to the front. Once I get siege units, I think it'll be a lot easier. Uh, siege units do take down cities very quickly. Rome is at war with the Thracians. That's fine. I don't want to lose four orders to gain elephants. Wouldn't mind spending the money to get lavender. That's useful. Get me another... Yeah, let's get a barracks here. That'll get me another... Um... Luxury, so that'll help. Okay, let's go back down here again. Just going to move this war elephant over so this one can move in next to it. So again, ranged units first. Attack with all the melee units. City still has far too much health. You can heal. Uh, where are my other units? You were moving in. Although I'm not entirely certain it's a good idea with the amount of other units that are moving around. So maybe I'll just leave you there. We've got an axe man who were trying to get close to the front. Got a camel archer that I need to get close to the front. And another act man who I am going to try and bring forward.
Looks like they've actually got barbarian problems up here. And this guy's in neutral trees, so he's, he's, he's invisible for now, which is good. We've got a couple of cities that are doing nothing. You've completed an axe man. You can work on another camel archer. And you've completed an axe man. You don't have a lot of good options there, really. We could try and spread our borders. We could go ahead and get um, a woodcutter there, actually. Try and get some more lumber coming in. Yeah, you're just going to sit still and do nothing. Same for you. Okay, we'll end this turn. See how it goes. I am very much on the cusp of scrapping this particular campaign and just thinking, no, I've done it wrong. I need to start again. Early aggression doesn't seem to work. I mean, I am t I am attacking a capital city. But unlike civilization, I mean, civilization, you need far fewer units and you can take a city a lot easier than this. Rome is in an alliance with Persia. Well, that's not so great, is it? And then this is our nascent heir now has minus one courage, which is also not great. So let's have a little look down here and see. Let's see if we can even just take one city. So ranged units first. In with the melee units. Maybe on the next turn. <laughs> uh, Barbarian's heading my way. So I'm just going to go and stick him over here so that he's hidden. You can stay there. Because I think you are going to give us some vision. So again, we do have some workers left. A barracks is definitely going to be worthwhile there. Again, it wants us to build wonders. It's probably not the time for it. I mean, we could just go and build another barracks. So I think we will. And we have another work down here. No abundance of great tiles, sadly. Can't quarry the salt. Now that's suggested a hamlet. I'm going to take it just to push my borders closer towards Babylon. And you've completed a war elephant. You can work on another war elephant. And we've got a few orders left. So let's start moving that war elephant to the front. And you're going to heal. And we'll keep moving down with this axe man. Okay, great. I'm going to do one more turn, because I think I'm one turn away from being able to take that city, potentially. Now, I do remember from the tutorial that taking cities works a little bit differently. Uh, so, once you get the city's health down to zero and take it, it does take a certain number of years for it to... that you have to keep control of it before it becomes yours, but it is possible. Uh, I think that's just the barbarians giving them some grief. Now, how come that barbarian is heading towards me? Free archer? Yes, we'll definitely take that. Um, where was that other scout near the barbarian? Oh, you might be heading to that barbarian camp. I'm going to move you over here. I just want to stay away from the barbarians. I want to be dealing with that right now. This war elephant's actually got a promotion. So we'll give him that. Um, mounted units. They do seem to be bringing a lot of the mounted units. Let's give him horsebane. Uh, let's go in and attack with all of our ranged units first. And then we'll go in with our melee units. The siege is over there. We've got it. So we can now have a truce or we can keep on going. Obviously, we're going to keep on going. Let's upgrade our wisdom because I do want to be able to get siege weapons. So this is now ours, but we need to hang on to it for four years. So this is not our territory yet. I don't really want to move these units around because I'd rather keep them so that I can um, heal them up. But now we can start moving units towards their other cities. So that is what I'll do. I am going to push on with the campaign, I think. I'm at least going to attempt to take all of this particular civilization out. So I'll bring, bring up my war elephant. Uh, you, I mean, we could, 
we could promote you. Make you tough, especially as you're already damaged. Uh, we have a couple of things to do here. Let's give you sharpen your vision. This is our niece. No, fine. We, we want to just take the wisdom wherever we can. And you've completed a camel archer. You can work on... I mean, what's the difference between a, a, an archer and a camel archer in reality? They both have 25 hit points. They both have a combat strength of 5. The camel archer has a movement of 3 compared to the archer's movement of 2. But the archer has a range of 3 compared to the archer's camel archer's range of 2. The archer has a zone of control. The camel archer doesn't have zone of control but can also ignore it because it's range. It has plus 1 fatigue limit as well. So the Camel Archer basically is a much more mobile unit, but the Archer has a longer range. In terms of cost, I mean, it's 100 wood versus 100 food and 50 wood. Consumes one food and two wood. Consumes one training and four food. So the Archer is a cheaper unit. I think we will get some Archers. I mean, they're not the fastest units, but it might be a better way for us to go. Uh, we've also got another unit here that we could go and promote as well. Uh, let's go for Herbalist. It might be nice to actually have some healers in the pack. And then we've got one more unit, which is a Camel Archer over here. We've got plenty of orders. So let's start bringing you as close to the front as we can. And there we go. That is the end of the turn. We've taken one city, although it is going to take four turns for it to become ours. But I will start taking all of my units that are fully healed which is mostly my ranged units, and start moving them up to uh, the top. And I, I don't know how many cities they've got. Somebody did say that there is a way to find out. I think if we actually look at the victory screen, uh, we can tell. Yeah, so they've got four victory points from two developing cities. So they only have two cities. Uh, so Persia, we can see, has... Um, What's that? 11 cities for Persia. We've got 6 cities. Uh, Babylonia has... So, I'm, you know, I can see I'm really behind in the number of cities that I have. Uh, and I do have some strong cities. Uh, Babylonia has 9 cities. Uh, Rome has actually only got 6, surprisingly. So, yeah, we've got to be a little bit, uh, little bit careful here. We do still have some ambitions... The specialist one should be easy enough to do. Although we do only have six years left on that. So I should probably work on it. Enact volunteers. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. That's the wrong one. We need this. Because we don't have the law for it yet. And we're not going to get that within six turns. Definitely not. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm going to end it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you are still enjoying this series of old world i'm a little bit disappointed myself that it hasn't gone as well as i was hoping it would do but again this is only my second sort of full game and my first game on this difficulty level so i am just sort of trying to explore uh the mechanics at these high difficulties it looks like having siege units is the way to go and probably not declaring wars so uh, early on it is very very difficult when you are limited by the number of orders that you have and the fact that you can't heal up uh, outside of friendly territory so it makes things very very difficult also now the number of units that i've got i'm actually now losing food so I need to go and get more farms but i will deal with that in a future video so thanks a lot for watching i will see you next time and until then goodbye for now